Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air, and today we're going to look at the new R454B Puron Advance Carrier Compact Condenser. I'm going to go through the specs of this unit, some of the features and benefits. Um, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channels for more uh, informational videos like this. And if you happen to be in the Orange County, California area, and you're looking to an estimate, please uh, get in contact with me. I will leave all my information in the description below. So let's get right into this unit. This is going to be the four ton carrier performance series variable speed compact condenser. Um, the model number on it is 37MURAQ48AA3. The efficiency in the four ton size is going to be uh, 16 plus SEER2. Now, if you're gonna be a three ton or the five ton or a different size, that efficiency will change depending on what you match it with. Um, an indoor unit could be the furnace you're matching with or a fan coil. So uh, some of these will qualify for the tax credit in different sizes. So you just wanna make sure if that's what you're looking for, you get the correct efficiency with the unit you're purchasing. Um, this unit has a variable speed digital inverter compressor. So the unit has the ability to do different speeds depending on the configuration, meaning what it's, uh, what unit is inside a fan coil or furnace and what thermostat you are using. Um, so this particular condenser is set up with a furnace and a coil inside, making this an AC condenser. So, but there are other configurations you can use it does use the Ecobee thermostat, which is recommended by Carrier. So this is basically a two-stage AC condenser in this particular configuration. Um, right now it is running at high speed. So the decibels on this unit are 65. So on the high speed, it is 65 decibels. It will go down to a medium speed, which will be more like around 60 decibels for this unit. So it is a very quiet unit. It is great for side yards like this. This unit sticks out from the wall from here to here. It sticks out only 22 inches. Um, this side yard is five feet. So we have another three feet or so in front of it so we can get by. The old condenser, if you look at the marks on the ground, it sat out right to there. So only gave you about two feet to walk by. So this gives you a lot more room outside Plus it is very quiet. You notice there is a window right by this. This is um, one of the, the rooms in the house where they do use as an office. So it's very nice that this unit is a lot quieter and more compact. Um, it does have what is called a soft start compared to a normal condenser that they had before, which was a square condenser, it was a carrier. It was about 23 years old. It had a hard start, which means it has an initial jolt of electricity and you hear that zzz sound and it comes on and you hear the fan. Whereas these are a soft start. So the uh, inverter compressor and fan start up very slow and ramp up to speed and you don't even know they're starting up. Um, if you were inside the house because there are double pane windows, you probably wouldn't know it's on right now. So with this type of system, you, you feel your comfort, you don't hear it. A lot of people hear that unit come on and then they know, okay, cool air is gonna come out. Whereas this unit, because it's a two speed, and it's very, very quiet. You just feel comfortable all day long in your house. The two stages help it uh, stay a more even temperature. So this unit is very, very popular because of that. It fits a lot of people's needs. The actual dimensions of this unit are gonna be 39 inches in length, 16 inches in depth. And then from the pad, which is three inches up to here, uh, it's 39 inch unit, but with the pad, it'll be 42 inches tall. This is a four ton unit. In previous years, this similar model had two fans, whereas this year, the one and a half ton up to four ton are gonna be a single fan unit. Now the three ton unit is about the same dimensions. It's 37 inch in length here, and it's only 32 inches tall. The two and a half, the two ton and the one and a half ton are also smaller. So the four ton is gonna be the largest in terms of the single fan units. Once you go to the five ton, it will be a double fan and it will be about 52 inches tall. So this window would be covered by it. So um, this unit fits perfect for this house. Uh, this house is roughly about 1800 square feet. This is a four ton unit, so it will cover 
that house just fine. The system will do up to 2,000 plus square feet, depending on how it's ducted in the indoor units, obviously. So this condenser is considered a crossover unit, and on the carrier website, it is listed as the Comfort 18 Compact Mini Split Heat Pump Condenser. So that just means basically it can be wired several different ways for different heating and cooling needs. The first way you see this unit is a heat pump configuration, which means it is a heat pump condenser outside, wired with a fan coil inside being an all electric system. The outdoor unit can do electric heating as well as the air conditioning. And that is very traditional, you see a lot of that. The other way it can be wired is as an AC condenser, which this particular unit is wired as. So outside it's an AC condenser, indoors is going to be a gas furnace and a coil and we use an Ecobee thermostat and that would make it a two-stage cooling system. It can also be wired for single-stage cooling and it can be wired for variable speed cooling depending on the thermostat and indoor unit. And the final way that you could wire this unit and configure it would be a dual fuel system. So with this particular setup, like I said, it, we have a furnace inside, so you could wire this for dual fuel. So what that would mean is the outdoor unit could be a heat pump condenser and then at a certain point, the thermostat can control when it would switch to gas heating for you. Typically, people pick a temperature threshold of around 40 degrees or less. So that means it will be electric heat until the outside temperature is under 40 degrees. Then it automatically switches over to gas heating. So that's a very good option uh, for the future. So we can come back and wire that in for this customer if they like. For now, it is acting as an AC condenser with the furnace and coil inside. Uh, finally, this does qualify for the Carrier Cool Cash instant rebate of $350. Um, so that runs throughout the summer and then it will run again in the fall. Um, this particular unit does not qualify for a tax credit, but like I mentioned earlier, some of the units will in different sizes and configurations. So you want to check with your Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer about that. Um, this does use the new R454B refrigerant. So um, we've done several installs with it. It's a great refrigerant so far, no issues, cools great. Um, I know a lot of people have asked about availability of that refrigerant. We've had no issues with that. We have plenty in stock to get us through the rest of the summer. So let me know what you think about this unit. Is this something that could be right for your house? Um, is this something that you know might work? Um, if you'd like more information about it, please leave uh, that in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, I appreciate everyone watching these videos. I'll be coming out with a lot more videos on the new carrier equipment that uses the Puron Advanced R454B. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.